members of the Board of Education, Principal Kelly, faculty, friends, family, guests, and of course, fellow members of the class of 2008. I would like to welcome you to the beginning of the end of the world as we know it. In a few short moments, by the time the last of the names called this afternoon has reached your ears, the foundation of this world will have crumbled to its core. No longer will we be able to call Little Town High School South our home away from home, from 7.36 in the morning to 2.13 in the afternoon. At the same time, I would like to welcome you to the beginning of a whole new world. The first steps we take as we start to walk up the center aisle and out of the art center will be every bit as momentous as humanity's first steps on the moon. Like Neil Armstrong, the graduates before us, we will, we will soon be setting foot on foreign soil, on territory so alien that we might as well be dreaming. And what if we are dreaming? At the end of each day, after the homework has been dutifully completed, after the drama of our relationships has come to a temporary standstill, after we are free from all obligations and want nothing more than to wrap ourselves in a warm blanket and fall asleep, what if we had been dreaming the entire time, even when we felt the most awake? As it so happens, we have been dreaming. Dreaming of becoming doctors, pilots, directors, writers, politicians, veterinarians, actors or actresses or acrobats, engineers, volunteers, bankers or brokers, nurses, singers, astrophysicists, police officers or firefighters, servicemen or servicewomen, mechanics, models, social workers, or teachers. We have been dreaming of finally becoming the people we want to be, of living the lives we want to lead. As daring as our dreams for the future may be, we must not forget that our dreams have already set us on the way to accomplishing great things. They have dared us to strive for championship titles in athletics. They have encouraged us to express our creativity on canvases, on stages, and on pages of loose-leaf paper. They have forced us to focus on the things that matter the most to us, on helping those in need, on making our time truly precious by giving it away. But we have not been dreaming these dreams alone. We have been dreaming them with the help of the neighbors who voted yes on the school budget, so we have more teachers, more parking spaces, and an excellent educational experience. We have been dreaming them with the help of the local business owners who have let us wash cars in their parking lots, donated their hard-won earnings to support our clubs and teams, and given us the chance to see our teachers flipping burgers and serving McFlurries on a Monday afternoon. And we have been dreaming them with the help of our parents. From dropping off forgotten lunches, art projects, posters, and essays, to shivering in the stands, hoping that the coach would put us in the game, they've always been on our side, and even more, by our side, during our greatest and most trying moments alike. Cafeteria workers, security guards, custodial staff, secretaries, administrators, guidance counselors, teachers, and friends, all of these people have invested themselves in making our dreams come true. These are the people whose daily lives have made the present moment meaningful and our dreams attainable. Think for a moment and look around at those who have made this journey with you. Who believed in you? Who changed the way you felt about life or about the world? Who challenged you to think for yourself? Who laughed when you laughed? Who cried when you cried? Who gave you a second chance? Or a third one? Or a fourth one? Who knew you before you even knew yourself? And who is proud of you at this very moment and for the rest of your life? There are dozens, even hundreds of people who know you will succeed in the new world we are entering today. <laughs> Class of 2008, Here's to you. May you never stop dreaming. Thank you.